past two years, Vodafone has consolidated its status as one of the biggest brands in Spain by launching up to 1 gigabit per second fixed broadband, Ultra HD TV, voice and LT mobile services to its 3 million cable subscribers. We wanted to have a big role and for an for an player in the fixed market in Spain. So we acquired Ono because we wanted to be competitive in the market and to make sure that we were going to be able to deliver triple play services and all the new services required. And we were just understanding that we were about to face a big challenge in managing high speed services with high capacity. And we understood that cable network needed a change, an evolution. So as we found that uh, the dis distributed architecture at Doc 601 offered by Huawei was the best way to, to offer a simplified architecture that could allow us to deliver our existing cable services and giving us the possibility to deploy fiber easily in case of needed using this common OLT. Vodafone has now 15,000 bar owner subscribers. Customer spending in bars increases by 70% during football matches, making it a 35 million euro market. The introduction of Ultra HD live TV broadcasts could double the ARPU for these subscribers. We are offering all the services, including TV, and also there's a quite tough battle in terms of content. Year by year, we are seeing that the TV is covering more and more importance in the home especially in all the Unicast services or OTT services. This requires a lot of capacity. The quality of the contents is increasing, and now the 4K. And that means that uh, day by day, we need more bandwidth. We have multiplied by seven the capacity in the downstream, by two the capacity in the upstream. This new architecture allows us to increase the peak speed that we can offer to the customers. We understood that uh, it was cheaper upgrading the cable network than building a new FTTH network. It was better to leverage on our cable assets and deploy the high speed capabilities on them better than deploying a new fiber network. We wanted to make sure that it is cable and this architecture could allow us to move to high speed services and also make sure that we were making the most of our spectrum and multiplying the capacity offered to our customers. That's why we choose DC CAP as the best architecture for evolving our cable network. In a traditional CCAP architecture, you have one product only for cable and you have to put another product for FTTH. With the DC CAP and the DC CAP solution of Huawei, we can, in the same node, to mix a cable and an FTTH network using the same product. Another benefit of the DC Cab is the optimization of the space and the power consumption in the, in the primary node. The primary node is the node where up to now we have placed the traditional CMTSs. Here we mix and we combine all the signal from the TV signal from the CPO. We insert in the primary node the video on demand signal and we insert the internet. That means in the primary node, we need a lot of racks with cabling to make this combination in a flexible way. And also we have a lot of transmitter, a lot of receivers and so on. That means power and that means space. The typical node, we have reduced from around 11 racks to just two racks to have the same solution. And that means a lot of efficiency for space and also for power consumption. With this technology, we have uh, here the fibers and we use less fibers than with the old equipment. We can connect this fiber with the OLT principal and if possible, put the FTTA in the house of the clients. One of the main challenges we face when operating HFC network is to control a large amount of, uh, of nodes, uh, more than 16,000 throughout the, the country. Uh, at this time, we are taking advantage of the U2000 product to be able to centralize in a single operating system the control from the access OLT to the remote nodes uh, in a single operating system. Since the beginning of the project, we have been measuring customer KPIs, number of calls, rates received by the customers. We have seen very positive feedback. We are making the most of this new solution because we are much more efficient than we were in the past. 
our department is able to deliver different commercial services offering higher capabilities than one we were able before. We are in a more competitive position, we are being much more efficient than we were in the past and also we are much more competitive in terms of commercial offers since we are not afraid about launching new services that could require higher bandwidth and we feel very confident that our solution is going to react in a very positive way in terms of performance. We are confident that Huawei will support us in delivering the future cable capabilities that are needed to compete in the Spanish market.